HomeKit Secure Video. Let's talk about what it is, what's the big deal, and how to use it. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. So today we're gonna to talk about HomeKit Secure Video. You may have heard of this, you may not have heard of this, you may not know what it is, what's the difference between regular HomeKit videos. Uh, so we're gonna clear all that up and discuss this a little bit. One thing I have really not touched on yet on this channel is HomeKit cameras. And the reason for that is I haven't owned any HomeKit cameras. See, a while ago before I ever started doing this home kit stuff, I installed a camera system that records locally onto a DVR. So the reason I did that is because I didn't wanna be constantly sending my video footage to some third-party cloud service. I definitely didn't want one of these companies like monitoring my footage all the time, especially cameras inside my home. Uh, and then all these cameras also required an additional, usually a monthly fee uh, for cloud storage and stuff like that. And I didn't wanna do all that. I just wanted to be able to record the footage here locally without anybody else looking at it. So that's why I set that up. And I haven't really looked at any of these other camera services since then. Well, until recently. And that's when Apple announced HomeKit Secure Video. Now, it's not to be confused with HomeKit enabled cameras. So just because a camera says uh, works with HomeKit does not mean that it works with HomeKit secure video. Basically, if a camera supports HomeKit, all that means is that it's accessible within the Home app, but there's no recording or viewing of old footage or recorded footage within HomeKit unless it supports HomeKit secure video. I hope that makes sense. So first of all, before we go any further, I wanna give a huge thank you to Logitech. They sent me out a Circle 2 wired camera so that I could make this video and talk about HomeKit Secure Video with you guys. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them. They just provided this product so that I could talk about HomeKit Secure Video with you guys. And I gotta say guys, it is a great camera. It works great with HomeKit Secure Video. All right, so what do you need in order to utilize HomeKit Secure Video? You need an iOS device running iOS 13.2 or later. You need a HomeKit hub, being an Apple TV, a HomePod, or an iPad. That hub is what's doing the processing of the video there. You obviously need a camera that supports HomeKit Secure Video, which we just talked about. And you will also need an iCloud account, either the 200 gigabyte or the two terabyte plans. So the two terabyte plan is $9.99 a month and the 200 gigabyte plan is $2.99 per month. So those people who are already deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem, you may already have one of these plans. It's likely you do. I already had the two terabyte plan myself because I have my family set up with family sharing so that we can all share our, our, our storage and, you know, for backups and we share our Apple Music subscription and stuff like that. So I already had this plan, so I don't have to purchase any other cloud storage or anything else in order to utilize this recording service. With the 200 gigabyte plan, you can record up to 10 days for one camera. With the two terabyte plan, you can record for 10 days up to five cameras, okay? So what it does is it stores up to 10 days of footage, and then after 10 days, it'll start deleting that older footage to record the newer footage. So let's go ahead and take this uh, new Logitech Circle 2 camera out of the box, and I'm gonna get it set up. I'm gonna set this up in my garage, actually, just for testing and to show you a little bit what it looks like and how it performs in the home app. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in here and show you a little bit what it looks like, some of the settings, so you have an idea of what to expect with HomeKit Secure Video. I've opened up the home app here. I'm gonna use my iPad just so it's easy for you to see, but you can clearly do this on your phone as well. Um, I'm gonna tap on my circle camera. This is in my garage. Don't judge me based on how messy my garage is. But you can see here, if you've used a HomeKit 
camera before, you'll notice this looks pretty familiar, except across the bottom here we have this timeline. So these are our recordings. Um, and it will record based on how we set it. I'll show you the settings in just a second, but you can see these little icons here. Now these show you that if it was a person, a animal, a vehicle, or motion that was recorded, uh, you'll get a little icon showing you that. So that's really nice and it's pretty good, it seems, at determining uh, what cause the motion, whether it was a person or a vehicle or what. So we can scrub along this timeline, obviously, and you'll notice once you start scrubbing, you'll see the dates located up here and the uh, days, so you can just skip around to days as well. So that's really nice. You also have this live button right here, which you can tap at any point to jump back into your live view. Again, really nice. And again, some of this is not specific to HomeKit secure video, but just HomeKit cameras up here. We have our microphone, uh, which we can talk through. We have our audio. We can turn audio on. Uh, if we want to hear what's going on, we can communicate through this Circle 2 camera. Um, another really cool feature about uh, having a HomeKit camera is this little button right here. So say you're looking at your camera and you see somebody at your garage or at your front door, you can just tap this button and all the accessories that are in that same room will show up here. So I could close my garage. We'll see our garage will start closing here. And there we go. So that's all in the live feed. So that's kind of cool there. You get those other accessories right there. So let's go back and look at some old footage here. This here, I was moving some stuff in the garage. Um, let me pause that. I can then tap the share button over here and I can trash it right here or you can tap next. And this will give you your options to share uh, just like you would share anything. So you can save the video to your camera roll, you can airdrop it, you can text it. Um, all that's really cool and you can do this with any of your clips here uh, very easily. And I'm gonna hit cancel and go back to our live view. All right, so let's go and look at the settings that are available here. And this is where the HomeKit Secure video uh, really shines in my opinion. Here we have our options for notifications. Okay, so allow snapshots and notifications. When anyone in this home receives notifications from this camera, include a still image of a motion or activity that is detected. So if you receive a motion alert or whatever, you'll get a snapshot that can be on your Apple Watch or anything. Status change notifications, receive notifications when this camera changes from one mode to another and activity notifications receive notifications on this device when the can when this camera detects activity like motion people animals and vehicles so you can check that if you want a notification every time it detects any activity um, and you can choose it and then you can actually specify further uh, the time of day uh, the people so you can say when i am home when nobody is home uh, when motion is detected or when a rook clip is recorded. So you can really fine tune the uh, notifications here and you're going to want to play around with this and get this the way you want it. So that is the notifications. Now we'll look at the streaming and recording options. You'll see when I'm home, you can choose to have um, recording off. No one can stream and nothing is recorded. Uh, detect activity. This camera can detect activity or trigger automations to send notifications, but no one can stream and nothing is recorded. So, so that's an option you would want to do if you want to use a motion detector still, but don't want any recording or streaming. You can allow for streaming only, or you can allow to stream and record. Uh, again, this is why you're home. And then you can have separate recording options set for when you're away. Those same options are available for when you're away. So you can have them different based on whether you're home or away. Then you can tap recording options. You can record when any motion is detected, when a specific motion is detected. And this is pretty neat here. This again, you can choose when people are detected, animals are detected, vehicles are detected. So if you have an area that has a lot of traffic, maybe you don't want it recording when there is vehicles passing, or if you have a lot of animals in your yard, cats and things, maybe you want to turn that off. You have the option to record audio. Then you have the option right here to erase this camera's recordings. And you can tap that, you'll get the dialogue to ask if you're sure you want to do that. 
You have an option here to turn the camera status light on or off. This is that Logitech Circle 2. This is on. There will be a little status light indicating that it's recording. Night vision light, you can turn that on or off to automatically turn it on uh, when it's dark. And there you go, that's basically it for the settings here in the Logitech Circle 2 HomeKit Secure video. As you can see, you can really fine tune your notifications and your recording options here. All right, and we'll look at it on the phone just to show you real quick. Uh, same thing shows up on the phone. Uh, you can see here we've got our timeline down at the bottom. We've got our days across the top where we can choose all the same settings here. Our live button, our share option where we can share. So I am coming from a uh, fresh open box here, but one thing to note if you already use Circle 2 cameras, uh, if you pair this with HomeKit Secure Video, uh, it will remove your camera from the Circle 2 app. So you're going to lose all functionality there. You'll have an option to uh, remove your recordings and everything right then or do it at a later date if you need to save your recordings and stuff like that. Uh, but this will remove your camera from the Circle 2 app completely and you'll only be able to use the Home app. Uh, with the HomeKit Secure video. So you can't use both right now. Eventually, it would be nice if you could use both. Some of these apps may have more functionality than they do in the Home app. For example, you can set up like areas that it will record or not record for motion detection and things like that. You can't do that in the Home app, whereas you can do that in the Circle 2 app. So cameras that currently support this is the uh, obviously the Logitech Circle 2. They're the first one to uh, release support for HomeKit Secure Video. It was announced that the Natat mode, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, the Natat mode and the Eufy cameras as well. I've heard the Natat mode cameras uh, have recently released a, a beta for testing. So if that's not out already, probably will be soon. But so far, the Logitech Circle 2 is the first one and the only one I know that's publicly accessible to, uh, to use HomeKit Secure Video right now. Now, one thing to note, the storage of your video footage does not eat into your, your allotted storage for your iCloud plan. So if you have the two terabyte plan, this footage will not eat into those two terabytes. So that's it, that's HomeKit Secure Video in a nutshell. I hope that was clear to you and kind of the difference between just regular HomeKit cameras versus HomeKit Secure Video. Uh, to me, this is a great feature. I love the privacy settings uh, that Apple brings to the table. I love that I don't have to subscribe to another company's cloud storage plans or that they might have access to look at my camera footage. Everything's encrypted. So this is a great feature for any of you fellow HomeKit users who are looking for some new cameras. If I was going out to buy some new cameras today for my HomeKit setup, I would definitely make sure that they support HomeKit Secure Video. Uh, it is a great feature and I would not get a new camera that did not support that feature. The Logitech Circle 2 camera is amazing. I love this thing, it works great. Great camera all in all. Again, check out the link down below if you wanna look into that. Um, it's an affiliate link and that does help out the channel here. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop that down below. Again, my name is Shane and on this channel we're building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit, so if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new HomeKit video every week. And in the meantime, check out some of these other videos right here. Until the next time, we'll see y'all later.